Hello, this is Hello Gabby's and welcome back to my channel. This is the second video on my nail series. Let me show you what else I got. So these are hauls after hauls. This is the Modelons All-in-One Salon Kit. This is a poly gel nail kit. And this is my second box and I will show you in a bit why this is my second box. But as you can see, I did my nails. On previous videos, my nails were terrible. I was in desperate need of a manicure. Now these nails are not perfect, but I absolutely love them. I did them myself and I love them. Absolutely love them. So these colors, I got them from this specific kit here. So let's see what this has. comes with instruction manual here. comes in a pink and a clear and a white. And these are for when you're filling uh, forms. You're putting the poly gel now. You dry it under the UV lamp and then you gotta like pop off the nail form. That's what these are for. Know that I did not use these, this poly gel, for the nails I had done and I'll explain a little bit more in a bit. This kit comes with a, a top coat, nail polish. It comes with a base coat, nail polish as well. It also comes with these little paint pots. And this is something that I am learning. Now the reason why this is my second set is because on the first set the one of the glitter paint pods spilled over and that's how it came when it was shipped to me so I requested a new one sent back the old one and so I pretty much got a fresh set even though the first set wasn't really used but that is the reason why this is my second um, order and I already have <laughs> my nails done from this actual kit here let me show you what these paint pots are so these are poly gel nail polish that come in paint pots and this is very different because I'm used to like a typical nail polish coming in a bottle color right you you brush it on these are different this is also a nail polish but it's a gel nail polish that you do have to cure so I want to open these and just show you a little bit of what the difference are oh one Look how pretty and I have this finger here that's this finger it's only two coats but that is this color here very very pretty it also comes with a second glitter and that is this one here and this is number four this color here this has like a pink dusty pink glitter absolutely love it so what is the difference between a paint pod, color paint pod, and let's just say regular nail polish. This is not a nail polish, but just, you know, basic nail polish bottle. The nail polish bottle, if you tip it over, will fall out. These will still fall out depending on its consistency, but it's meant to be more like a putty, more thickener. Now this is a glitter, so this one does move around, but the point is, is that it will last longer because you can have it here on this little pot and it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna do anything until you actually unless you leave it out and open I obviously it little dry out but you don't have to take care of it as much as when you have a bottled nail polish let me show you another color here so you can see the difference in what I mean this is color number 32 so this is a solid color pretty and that's this color here and you can see look I'm tipping it over it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere versus a regular nail polish bottle you tip it over you're done you gotta buy another nail polish bottle 
that's why I love these. I discovered these and I'm like, it seems a little bit too good to be true. They're not expensive either. And yeah, I mean, come on, look. It doesn't come off until you actually remove the product. It's like putty-like, gel-like, but it doesn't do anything. These, I'm assuming because they're glitter, it has a different consistency and you can see it moving around a little bit. Um, but that's the difference between a regular nail polish bottle and little paint pots to go in sequence so this is ranging from 27 through 32 and then I showed you the two glitters here the silver and the pink glitter already so this one is number 27 they don't have much of an odor either they have an odor but see again it's not going anywhere this is this color here Also love the little pink pods here. Totally love pink. Okay, 28. Number 28, I did not use. It was too dark. I will use it at some point, but I did not use it on my set that I have on right now. But it's still a very pretty color. Number 29. Number 29 is this color here. A dusty rose, very pretty. Number 30. Number 30. Now, this color I did not use it again in my current nails. Also, very pretty color. It's like a lighter version of number 28. Now, 31 is this color here. Another thing I love is that the little, the color you see on the little paint pot, that's the color you're going to get. There's really no variations. So it's absolutely a true color. It will dry exactly the way the putty looks. Love it. Okay. So I showed you all the colors that I used. This kit also comes a 6 watt gel nail dryer. It is a UV LED nail lamp. And it's called a Sunny Mini. So it's a Melodons Leafo. And it looks like a mouse. And again, I love it because it's pink. Look at how cute this is. This is my mouse. This is my computer mouse. And this is a little mini lab. Cute. Okay. So it does have six LED lights here. So you can use it like this if you need to cure something. Right? Hold it. Or you can just pop open the feet and it has this little stand and you can just stand it up by itself. Ta-da! So the little mini lamp, very cute. It also comes with its charger, USB charger. Also we have a nail art rhinestone wheel. So these are little diamonds. This now using nail art is a little too advanced for me. I just want to learn the basics, color, extension, things like that. Um, I don't know that I'm ready to use this. I can maybe try, but again, I want to just learn a little bit slow and steady. And um, But using these little rhinestones, I think, are going to be a little too advanced for me. But they're very small and they go to some larger ones. But they're just clear nail art little bits here. It also comes with 10 color stripping tape line. What do you use these for? I have no idea. But these are 10 of them and they come in different colors. So I see like a purplish, a green, a red, I uh, guess like a blue, dark blue, a white, a copper, like a raspberry, a silver, a gold, and another blue. What do you use these for? I don't know, guys. What do you use them for? Like I said, this is too advanced for me. I'm already feeling overwhelmed. But we have more nail art items. It also comes with a cuticle fork. I've never used a cuticle fork. 
and obviously it's for your cuticle your it's like a little blade and then you just like take the pro like your cuticle off uh, I love the pink handle you know me love pink uh, I'll keep it but I'm too afraid to use it I don't see myself using it but a cuticle fork this is supposed to be nail tweezers uh, I didn't know nail tweezers actually existed I know nail clippers or but why nail tweezers okay and okay so I'm assuming this is where you get like the nail art maybe like if you're going to get your little little diamond get one and then you place it on your nail that's what I'm assuming this is for if not then I have no idea guys enlighten me if you can if you use this what do you use it for how do you use it so just basic black and then you have your nail file it's 180 grit on one side and then a hundred on the other and the smaller the number the more grit the larger the number the less grit it feels a little bit smoother so this is the 180 this side feels very gritty so this has to be the 100 that's what i learned so we have our nail file i do like the little flower imprints here these little patterns and it's modern lawns i was pronouncing this in spanish i was pronouncing it modelones that's what you how you would say this in spanish modelones um, but it's modelon, so learn something every day. Okay, then we have a nail brush. This is supposed to be a paint pen, and it's supposed to be an oval brush number six. You can see the number six here. And you see the little oval shape. And you are supposed to put product on here. I love it. On the other kit, again, like I said, this is my second kit. I actually used some of my nail polish. I did use the uh, brush that came with the kit to paint my nail polish and work with it. So I really love this brush. And I even bought more brushes that I will show you in a later video. So an oval number six brush, very, very necessary. It also comes with a cuticle pusher. And just like the cuticle fork, I've seen these, I've never used them. This is a little bit easier to use, it works very well. This one, is it a slicer? What, do, what is this for? Maybe to push it this way. So enlighten me guys, uh, do you like this tool and do you use it or do you buy one specifically or more professional tool? But um, I used it on this end and it worked well. I figured I'm using it, cool. So there you go, this is a cuticle pusher. Lastly, You have the nail forms. These are the nail forms. The nail forms are going to be used specifically if you're going to use these guys. And with these, like I said, these are poly gel nails. Comes in clear, white, and pink. And you use these nail forms with it. And just to show you. So like I said, I've already opened, this is my second box, but I just want to show you. I already chose the sizes that will fit my nail. I have, these are not, I did not use this. These nails are not these, okay? Just to make that clear. But these nail forms are used, like, just like you've seen on uh, some videos. I think this goes on my thumb here. You will basically put the gel, poly gel on here. I don't even want to open it. You put it on here and then you use your brush to form it, right? Dun, 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 dun. As long as you want, there you go. It's all clear and then you push it here really tight. You use your little UV lamp. It's set, cool. Then you're gonna start to work. 
you shape it, it's all good to go. If you use the clear, right, then the colors come into play. Then you can start using your little paint pods because let's just pretend this is a clear nail. You then now go with your little uh, paint pot and then you start coloring. You know, you dry, there you go, another coat, da 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 da. You know, there you go. That's how you use that. But in this kit, I just use the colors. I just use these colors, not necessarily I formed the nail. So these nail shapes are not caused, are not made by these nail forms. Now I do want to say that some come with curved and straight. This is a curved one. I like the curve. I think the, the style now is straight. So the, some kits provide with straight and curved, but to me, I love curved, and I think I love curved because I have my nails are not curved. So you know, you always want what you don't have. But there you go. Uh, I will try to practice because I want to use these. I want to see how they look, how how it does. But again, I'm just a beginner and slow and steady for me, guys. But I already picked the sizes that fit my nail, which is why I wrote it on my little piece of paper. And I put forms, modern longs. I know that a number six is my thumb. So this big one, you should be able to see a number six here. And it's right there. And it's very hard to see, guys. Very hard to see. So I get my, I get my little magnifying glass and I'm like, oh, this is a number six. This is for my thumb. But anyways. I chose them and then as long as I see the correct nail, this is number, yikes, number eight. And here it says number eight is for my middle. So if I were to use these forms, I know that this is for my middle finger. Ta-da! So these are way too big and I just taped them together just so I can keep everything together. And I have them on the little sack. So there you go. And my little cheat sheet, I know which nail form number goes with what finger and I'm gonna keep it here to remind me I don't have to be second guessing also this kit comes with so for example number eight was my middle finger there's three number eights and three for every number so there's three of each in case if you break one I guess or you're supposed to replace them every so often I don't know but there's three for each number so there you go so that is what comes with the kit. Let me see, it says 50% off, limited time offer um, on tips, okay. Contact us to claim your gift, cool. Okay, so that is the kit for the Metalons Poly Gel Nail Kit. And these work awesome. These little paint pots, I mean, I don't think I will ever, 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 ever go back to regular nail polish bottles. Never. I will never go back. And these, even if I don't have a poly gel nail on, I can use this on my regular nail as well. As long as you use the proper, you know, base coat and then top coat, you are good to go. We'll never go back to a regular nail polish. This is going to be the standard for me from now on. And if you haven't tried it, just try it perfect thing about Amazon is that you can try something you don't like it you return it they're not gonna be oh why did you return it and give you a hard time they just want you to give your the product back there you go so simple love Amazon for that reason and I love these gel pods so that is my uh, two cents on that so there you go what else did I get I also purchased an extra model top and base coat because these look like little bottles. Again, I don't know if these are considered large or little or standard, don't know. But I purchased extra top and base coats. I do want to practice, maybe remove it, practice again. And it's just another top and base coat. So now I have two of each. Ta -da, so that's what I got. I also got a nail dehydrator and primer kit. Okay, and this, 
Okay, like how to use it. <clears throat> okay, this is what it looks like. Nail dehydrator or nail prep. It looks like clear liquid. So this Modelon's Nail Dehydrator and Nail Prep says that it removes debris and moisture, etc., dehydrates and disinfects. And I think that this is why when they put this, uh, when you're at the salon, it has like a little burning sensation. Whoa, see I opened it and it's just clear. Oof. Yep, this is the stuff they use. It's just clear liquid. It has a smell <coughs> to it. Okay, that's what that does. Woo! Okay, now the primer says that it treats surface of nails to make acrylic or nail polish adhere better. Helps products stick to the nail. This is the nail primer. I would, and I'm noticing that on the actual kit for Modelons, it comes with a top coat and base coat, now with a nail prep or nail primer. I'm gonna open this carefully. I want it to spill, so it looks like clear liquid. Yep, smells like acrylic. So there you go, that's what the nail primer is for. So I got two of those. Base coat, like this one. So the base coat helps polish stick to nails, creates barrier that protects nails from damaging effects of polish. It also prevents staining and peeling. It gives the nail an even texture. And so that is the base coat. The next one I have written down here is an activator. Now, none of the systems that I purchased here comes with an activator. <coughs> The activator is actually the third step in a dipping system. I did purchase dipping nail color system. I will show you that in a later video. It cures all layers of powder without the UV LED lamp. So without this little guy here. And then it secures everything together. So again, uh, there's no activator in any of these little bottles that I'm showing you. When I get uh, show you the dipping system I purchased, I'll show you that later. And lastly is the top coat. The top coat seals color and gives everything stain power, protects color from environment, and extends the life of the manicure. Everyone, and I know I even use top coat when I'm polishing my nails, regular nail polish. I always use a top coat, and I'm sure you guys do, a clear top coat. Uh, some of you guys may also already be using base coat on for your regular nail polishes. I don't. I only use the top coat. Uh, so there you go. That is all of these little uh, polishes that I purchased. Now, as far as the Modelon system, here it also tells you like the step by step on the application, which I wrote it down to. Okay. So the poly gel system, which this is the exact poly gel uh, system that I, I purchased, uh, uh, there's steps to it. And here it actually gives you like a little diagram, if you will, and steps on what goes what. So the steps are basically, you're going to use your dehydrator, first step. Then you're going to use your primer. Then you are going to use your base coat. Then you're going to use your color because we're talking about this specific system, your gel nail color, right? Then you will use your top coat. So in a nutshell, these are basically what you need to use in order. Okay. Now, here it does say, of course, clean and shape your nail, right? File, shape your nail, it's ready to go, ready like for color. Apply nail dehydrator, right? You're gonna let that air dry. Then you're gonna apply a thin layer of primer. You're gonna let that air dry. Apply a thin layer of base coat. Now you're gonna get out your little UV lamp mouse-like, right? You're gonna let it cure 30, 60 seconds. Then you're gonna apply a thin layer of your color gel. This little guy. 
Then you cure for 30, 60 seconds. Apply a second coat, right? We do second coats for regular nail polishes. I do that all the time. Some, you know, sometimes even third uh, coats. But you apply a second coat. They recommend you doing a second coat and then you cure it, okay? Then you apply the no wipe top coat. And then you cure that for 30, 60 seconds. Voila, you get this. I love my nails. They're not perfect, but they're mine, and I'm learning from the mistakes. Another reason why I purchased, starting to purchase all these nail kits and colors and whatnot is because every time I go to the nail salon, I mean, I spend like 40 to $50 every time I get my nails done. If you want them removed, they charge you. You know, you're gonna put on nail tips. Of course, that's an extra charge, depending on the color, depending on, is it regular gel, is it acrylic, you know, whatever you're gonna use. They start charging extra, plus you want little diamonds, that's extra, more nail art, whatever, that's extra. I was just tired of dropping so much cash, and honestly, guys, I was just never satisfied. I was always like, oh, this one is not shaped as pretty as this other one. There was always glue around. I was always filing my nails when I got home and I figured oh, all this money now I'm gonna be learning I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes and they're gonna look pretty horrific sometimes but the more practice the better I know that I will get and with the 40 or 50 dollars that I would normally drop to get a new set done I've already spent that these are good for 20 maybe 30 plus sets I mean come on that is a lot of money saved right there and you get to learn new things and uh, I know that for sure the poly gel nail the ones used with the forms I haven't been to a nail salon that does that I do go to the rinky tinky ones uh, I'm not gonna be spending more than 50 bucks well now I'm not gonna be spending 50 bucks or 40 bucks because I'm gonna try to do them myself so why not that is my main reason to start doing my own nails now guys so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day.